Hey everyone, I want to show you this Smith & Wesson Model 19 357 Magnum Combat that I just picked up here in a gun store and it is brand new. We can see I just pulled out this red marker and it has never seen ammunition. It has got a fatal flaw in it. Very dangerous, very problematic. I want to explain what the problem is first and then I will demonstrate it. This is a revision 9 of the Model 19 K-Frame, so I know that there is a lock, so I'm going to go over this right quick. I know the lock adds some complexity to this unit. This lock is more of a sense of trigger lock that uses a key, which is really just like a Torx head, but this is not like a safety that you just unlatch, but I did make sure that this was completely unlocked and this was not part of the problem, so I wanted to call that out beforehand. And even though I said it, never seen ammunition for the five people bound to comment, yes, YouTube? It's unloaded, because it's never seen ammunition. So in the normal course of operation, you push a cylinder release forward. It pushes this pin out of the detent, which allows the cylinder to swing out sideways. While that release is forward, the hammer is locked in the down position, and the trigger cannot be pulled back. That is locked as well. That's normal operation. As the cylinder is closed, this pin makes its way back into the detent, pushing the release back and freeing up both the hammer and the trigger for normal operation as everything is now aligned and safe to operate. While the firearm was adequately inspected at the store, this problem was not immediately evident till I brought it home and gave it a comprehensive inspection. Now I'll conduct a full demonstration of this problem and why it's so dangerous. I'll show right now how obvious it is now that I know it. As I push this forward and it gets stuck in the unlock position, I have to push the cylinder to lock it back. Obviously I didn't know this at the time, but we could see that this is obviously a problem. Why is the cylinder no longer aligned and I have to actually jiggle it to lock it back into position? Again, it's easy to see now when I know there's a problem, but if you're loading it like this, you put all your bullets in and now you're going to close the cylinder. You can see this time it locked back, no problem. Everything seems fine. I can even pull the trigger back if I want to because I know everything's correct. It seems to function perfectly. It could function perfectly the next several times as I push it forward, open the cylinder, load ammunition, close it. I can pull the trigger back. Just fine. This is what I inspected at the store. Could do this seven times in a row and it'll work just fine. That's what's so dangerous about this. Because on the eighth time is when there's a problem. And it doesn't completely fall in a battery. It doesn't line up. Well, there it is. And when I had showed the person at the store this, had them repeat it. And they saw this. They said, wow, this is a problem. And I have to jiggle the cylinder. And you can see it lock it, snap back into position. It's not falling back into that hole, that pin that's being pushed out. And again, as I demonstrated, you needn't to pull it all the way out to do this. Just pushing the button. The button doesn't always go back in position. And it just, the whole gun locks up. So if you had to load it in an emergency, and you go and pull the hammer back, the whole thing is locked up. It's useless. Unless you're going <laughs> to throw it. That's all it's good for. Very dangerous defect on this brand new firearm. See? Most of the time it works, but sometimes it doesn't. Unfortunately, the gun store I brought it from says once you leave the store, there are no returns. So they took it back only to give it back to Smith & Wesson to have them do a uh, factory repair of the gun. So I had the gun a total of eight hours before I had to bring it back in to have it factory repaired four to six weeks. I haven't seen it since I made this video. So I can't include the repair in the video because I actually don't have it back yet. It seems unfortunate. I think having never used it, that the store would have honored a replacement. But on the bottom of that paper, it does say, uh, you know, no returns, no exceptions, even if they did sell me a broken gun. So you got to be aware of this stuff. So I hope you found this video helpful. Do me a favor. Hit that like button down below. Helps me out a lot when you do. And be sure to inspect new and used firearms to the greatest extent possible before you leave the store. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Would you like to reply? <laughs>